Reaction is pouring in after Beyonce was snubbed by the CMAs. Zero nominations despite her wildly popular country album, Cowboy Carter. It is yeah. crazy that this incredible album did not get nominated. Yeah. Today, the ladies of the view are also weighing in. I don't think she was snubbed. I think they just didn't, it wasn't for them. Zero nominations at the Country Music Awards is absolutely a snub, and it feels racist. I think the country music establishment does not see her as part of them. Beyonce also finds herself on the steamy cover of the new October issue of GQ magazine. She says, I was so hyped to see a song like Texas Hold'em gain worldwide acceptance. Even more exciting was how it helped reinvigorate the country genre across music, fashion, art, and culture. Everyone's talking about how Beyonce is getting snubbed from the CMAs from a widely popular song, Cowboy Carter. And it's a good song, no question about it, but here's the thing though, she didn't get one nomination. I wonder why. People say like, it's racist. You know how the country people, the music world are, they racist. Might be a little bit of that, but it might be something completely different. Let me look into it and I get back to you with that, I promise. Okay, I was looking, trying to find this online and this is what I found out. If I look at this correctly, though, um, Country Music Biggest Night is just around the corner. Nominations are in on Monday, September 6th. Yeah, Monday, September 6th, the Country Music Association reveal four nominees for the 58th Annual CMA Awards, where Morgan Wallen leading the pack with seven total nods, and Beyonce total, um, notably action for the ballots. Now, mind you, September 6th, the awards, if I'm correct, it was on the 6th, it would take place November 20th. So the nomination started in September. So let me do some really careful checking before I say anything else, though. Now, in fact, I'll go a step further. I'm going to ask Copilot. I have a question. Copilot, can you hear me? Oh, you're not talking to me? Can you hear me? I guess it says, not you, it's me. Typical. <laughs> Try to get my AI to work. Good morning, Jeffrey. What can I do for you? I'm rolling up my virtual sleeves. I have a question. What's on your mind, Jeffrey? Spill the beans. When was Sean Combs arrested? Sean Connery was arrested in 1950 for being involved in a brawl while on leave from the Royal Navy, but the charges were later dropped. Uh, quite the stir back then, but it didn't stop him from becoming the icon we know today. Recognize this story, or is it all new? Mm -hmm. When was Sean Combs arrested? If you mean Sherlock Holmes, he's a fictional character, so he wasn't arrested. Oh my but goodness. in his stories, he's come close to being arrested or even has been arrested while working on cases. Um, if you meant a different Sean Holmes, uh, let me know. When was P. Diddy arrested? P. Diddy or Puff Daddy or whatever name he's going by these days was arrested in 1999 in connection with a nightclub shooting in New York City. Um, he faced charges of weapons possession and bribery, but he was ultimately acquitted. Uh, quite the media storm at the time. Does that answer your question? No. Got it. 
What else would you like to know? When was P. Diddy arrested this year? I don't have information about events in 2024, so I can't confirm if P. Diddy has been arrested this year, but anything else I can do for you. Was P. Diddy in trouble with the law this year? I'm not up to date on any recent legal issues for P. Diddy. My knowledge only goes up to October 2023. If you're curious about his recent activities, you might need to check the latest news. Want to talk about something else? Wow, that was different. Okay, let me try something different. No, that's not what I had in mind. Hold on. That's why. Hold on. Get up from there. Yes. Go over here. Try one more time with the AI. Oh, my God. Leave my direct TV alone. I can't believe this is happening here. Okay. One more time. And see, I know PD was arrested recently. Okay, one more time. Can't believe I got to deal with this. How is it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, hold on here. Make sure I look this correctly, though. What the heck was that? Pause. It's like a comedy of errors here. Sean D. Combs was arrested Monday, September 16th, and charged with with a Justice Department call, a years long scheme to, well, basically, we, we already know what's going on with Diddy. With Diddy. September 16th was the time. Okay, now I'll go back when Beyonce was supposed to be nominated. Okay, so it was on Monday, September 6th. So, hmm, try to figure this out. Unless, okay, I got two possible theories why, you know, she probably got snubbed though. I got like quite a few theories. Number one, like, despite the um, the song Cowboy Cars, a wildly popular cowboy song, there's no way to expect to just walk in and just snatch the win. It don't work like that. It's one thing if Beyonce being like, doing some um, collaboration with some country stars for the last few years. That's one thing. People just, they know of her in the hip-hop, rap, R&B, and all of stuff. Yeah, they know of her there. But in terms of the world of country music, nope. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I first heard Cowboy Carter, and I'm like, okay, sounds nice. And then I realized that was Beyonce. So I like, say what? But it doesn't mean like she's gonna automatically win. You know what it'd be like? It'd be like the rock group Kiss. So I become rappers. <laughs> they could be good. They'd be up there, be cross between Wu Tang Clan and Eminem. They could put out a great album. Doesn't mean they're gonna win. They could have like a world class album and all that stuff. Doesn't mean they're gonna win. Plain and simple. Look at KISS. KISS is the biggest rock and roll band in existence. You know, save them maybe like the Rolling Stones, Led Zepp and all that stuff. You know how long it took for them to get to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and other people who I don't think are should be even like in the same genre as hard rock, heavy metal, got in for a KISS? You know what I'm saying? Same for Beyonce. And like I said, she probably put out a great album. Um... And she claims she invigorated country music. I'm going like, are you serious? You make it sound like you saved country music. No offense, Beyonce, you didn't. You made it more interesting. But in terms of saving it, don't let your ego get ahead of yourself and all that. I'm sorry. As long as you put in more time and all that, definitely struck upon put more time and effort than you do. A few other like black artists in the country music industry put way more time and effort than you do. There are other um, country music artists and probably got snubbed as well. We'll probably put more time and effort than you did. That's one. Number two, 
The fact that uh, I think since Danny's home got raided and Chance Your Name got um leaked out, you and Jay Z's name got you know got leaked. Well, not leaked out, meaning that you got close association with Diddy, which is all classic guilty by association. Simple as that. But like I said, that's something that I'm going to talk about with Beyonce. But I do that later. But other than that, though, in terms of her life being snubbed. Might be a little bit about racism, not that I don't think it is. It might be a little bit, but it's way more like the fact that she puts up one album, but it's not like she did a ton of collabs with country stars. It's not like she did a lot of country projects. She this is like the first one that she really did that we may really are made aware of. You know, simple as that. And people feel like she's um think that she, I think the fact that you know, because like yeah she's Beyonce she don't she don't get automatic award just because she appears there. The song is great, no question about it. People swear swear by it. Does mean it's gonna be a winner. I go back to I think one of the Academy Music Awards when Metallica won, uh, was nominated and Jeffro Toll won. Yes, I haven't gotten over it. I'm still shocked. You gonna tell me Metallica, uh, honest to goodness heavy metal band. That's world worldwide known, everybody knows and recognizes, and Jeff Rotol, which, yeah, they play some class of rock and all that. They might be the foremost of Metallica, but that's like comparing a Volkswagen Beetle to a Corvette. Turbocharged. So, in that sense, yeah. But in terms of Beyonce, I think her and Jay-Z's problems is just begun. Well, with that, what do you think about this? So I'm gonna put some links about to think about the Country Music Awards nomination for list and all that, but what are your thoughts on that, folks? Do you think that, you know, that Beyonce should expect too much if you know she put that one album or if things are unfair if she got snubbed? Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Peace. <laughs>